Hello, friends and fellow adventurers. Welcome to the Min Max Podcast. We want to thank you for joining us, and you do so as we continue Blood Lords. As always, we'd like to invite you to come join our Discord, where you can hang out with us and other listeners of the show. And if you'd like to do a little financial support our way, you can check out our Patreon. And a shout out to all of those at our Lich level and above. Rock, Jedi, Wolf, Blood on a Slump, Thunder Mammoth, The Trevor Project, Das Chris, Fizz Gig, AC Golder, Eric R. Hope just gonna skip right past you there. Indie Link, Tawdry Monster, Mercutio, Angel Shadow Art, Sirenden, The Necromancer Forever, Doc Holiday, Corey, Robert T, Jason K, Dicky Lopez, Bobson Dugnut, Ricky Ropebridge, Alex K, Doma Alaka, Frank L, Just Mike Works, Ross D, Argoon's Long Lost Elbow, Fig Gear, Zach S, Jimmy H, Mr. Turtle, Sleeve, Darren, Caleb W, Pickle, Mr. Grimm, Fire Down, M54 Ewas, Jameson S, Eric R, plus two Forple Salmon of Wacky. I'm not a robot. George F. Leo Hart. Hard, hard, hard. Witch Hunter. Jeremy D. Matthew M. Scott E. Progeny of Cuchulin. Liz Giggles. Calistria Specialty. Brandon K. Gringus Maximus. Andrew G. Ebon Flames. Booming Thunder. Henry. A School of Fish. Ice and Jam. And Chris W. Shout out to new patron at the dead level, Jerris. And for the Venmo donation, Victor M. Thank you all so much for your support. And now a recap of Session 50. We're in a small hamlet called Thornhearth, investigating the estate of someone who goes by the Benefactor. Having just run away from one haunt, we find ourselves face-to-face -face with another, this one involving the Benefactor guy and Iron Tavia, for whom we are searching. This haunt seems far less dangerous, and Kix manages to quickly handle it. We find a few pieces of loot and head upstairs. There's just some books and boring ledgers and stuff. We go back downstairs, buckle up, and blast our way past the initial haunt. We survive this time and make our way down some stairs, where we find some vampire spawn. We destroy them as Shara tanks like a beast. One actually seems to be a weak young vampire. We are now out of initiative. Okay. Search the place? Yeah, we're going to search through. Search. And I want to... Specifically, check out this coffin. Sure, I'll get a twenty-five just to search the room. Just taking a look, looking around. This basement is insanely bare. You do see a lot of dried uh, patches of blood on the floor, stains on the walls and the floor. Like I had mentioned, like the rust from the torture implements. You see pliers and tongs and stocks and cuffs and rusty blades. All sorts of things down here but they all look like they're out of use. You notice that there is a, uh, what seems to be a trap door in the ceiling, and at the southern end of the room is a body with a stake coming out of its chest and his head in his lap. Somebody wanted him dead dead. Um, I pull the stake out of his chest. Does he pop back up? Yeah, that's for sure going to be the most interesting thing to look at, because I assume he somewhat resembles the well-dressed man that was screaming through the hallway. Absolutely. This is our benefactor. Absolutely. Luke, and you, you're pulling the stake out of his I'm chest? I'm pulling the stake out. Yes, I have plans for this stake. Okay, because you have, or you are a vampire, you know he's destroyed completely. There's no coming back from that. All right. There's just nothing. As you reach down to pull the stake out and rip it forward, or rip it out of his chest, it the head in the lap, its eyes snap open. <laughs> God, another fucking haunt. And it looks up at you. It says... Sup, dude? Put it back in, put it back in. Sup, brah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, his eyes snap open and he says, Tavia. I don't know what kind of creature you've become. I don't even know what kind of creature he who made you is. That's it? That's it? Tavia, I don't know what kind of creature you've become. I don't even know what kind of creature he who made you is. She's in a hybrid from, like, Underworld. Half vampire, half werewolf. Half witch. She's a tri-breed. A tri <laughs> I breathe. Half man, half bear, half pig. Uh, does his eyes stay open or do they close again after he says that? When the eyes snap open, a surge of negative energy fills the room. And I would ask you to make will saves if it made a difference. 
Can we heal off that negative energy? No damage to creatures within 30 feet of the corpse, so no. A surge of negative energy fills the room as the corpse lurches once more as though staked. So after he gives his answer, then you see the spectral form of Tavia driving the stake through his heart and then slicing through his neck with her claws. And he ah, it screams and then shing. So it's just yet another haunt. It is. It is. But it just does negative damage, so it can't hurt us. It can't hurt you. Correct. Could drain you, but I'm not going to bother. Uh, all right. I go to the coffin. Is the vampire in there starting to reform? Yes. She is. I slam the stake into her chest. You do? What if we want to talk to yeah. her? Jesus, man. No, this is ours. It's our coffin, goddamn. As soon as the stake gets driven through her chest... <gasps> But see, that's what I'm giving you. She dies. Excellent. Is destroyed. Well done. My coffin, my manor. I look through the benefactor's pockets for items, notes, anything. For the benefactor specifically. Yes. Yeah, and 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 search the whole place for. Any kinds of notes and shit. Sure, absolutely. On the benefactor's body, you find a ring of keys. And the keys are all basic iron. It looks like the same key to the front door. And there's a couple of other keys here as well. Of note, though, the key ring is made of braided platinum. That key ring's worth like 100 gold on its own. Nice. The other thing that he has on him, lying off to the side, is a loaded crossbow that he never had the opportunity to fire. How tragic. What a loser. It's magic. Oh, nice. You want to give it a once-over, Lucan? Yeah, sure. I can give it a uh, quick identification. Well, we can just talk about the, the crossbow. 31. 31. Okay. This crossbow is something called a spirit sight crossbow. It is a plus one striking ghost touch crossbow and has an array of Ah. crystalline lenses and silver fittings along the stock and feels strangely light. Once per minute, you can, for one action, aim through the crossbow's crystalline lenses, gaining imprecise vision onto the ethereal plane within a range of 60 feet in addition to your normal senses for the rest of your next turn. What a fucking... Beastly weapon. It is such a bitch and bow, dude. It, like, this is a really good fucking crossbow. Amazing. That's crossbow. just a simple weapon, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anybody could use it. So the uh, yeah, if anything, the spirit sight crossbow gives you just vision in onto the ethereal plane once per minute if you need it. And then of course the braided platinum key rings worth a hundred gold. And that's what the benefactor has on him. Grella who you just staked, has a plus one rapier on her. Her mind had become so clouded with her own hunger and she had forgotten to even draw the rapier during the combat. And she's also technically wearing leather armor. Yep. That's it. Um, I mean, I don't do it, but I'll have like Arius pull her corpse out of this coffin. I just pull it out and toss it in a corner. Yeah, we're going to burn them all. Now, here's here's something that you need to know. Yes. And you would know this, but we need to talk about it at this moment for sure. The stake through the vampire's heart puts it at zero HP and prevents it from healing or using its restoration. Okay? Yeah. If you remove the stake, they start regaining hit points. They start restoring. Mm-hmm. If you want to completely kill the vampire, you have to sever its head Done. and... Soak the ho- the stake wound while the stake is in there. Dribble holy water on it. Oof! I don't want to touch that shit. Yeah, I don't have any of that. That's not happening. Which means, as of right now, you don't actually have the means to destroy this vampire. Well, we can still ask her questions if we want to. Then no, no Thank mercy. You. Um, I ain't getting no holy water. These cells right next to us. I mean, it's not really war right now, so it doesn't... 
Is that only mercy and war? No, it's just flat out no mercy. <laughs> also, I still don't think this is considered mercy by... <laughs> I'm our locker in a cell if these are cells next to us. That's true, they are. And since I, I can't, I, I don't have the ability to kill her, so I'm just going to chuck her in a cell and lock it. Well, and you can leave the stake in her. She'll still stay at zero hit points unconscious and can't heal. Correct. Yeah, so you'd have to be a damn fool to go in there and pull the stake out. Essentially. That's such a good trap. <laughs> and just walks in, pulls the stake out. How would you make them pull the stake? You put it no, on the door. But somebody just be stupid enough. Or you, you hide it behind a cloth. You, you tie, tie a, string a string to it? To it. Yeah. <laughs> you mean like how Tied dad tried the... to pull my teeth out when I was six and failed? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like somebody opens it. It's like hooked to the bar or something. And somebody opens the door. It pulls the stake yeah, out. Yeah, oh pulls God. the stake out. <laughs> Great. <laughs> hilarious. Fantastic uh, trap. But for real, there's no like journal or anything in here. Nothing. Not at all. I'm so goddamn disappointed. Who is this benefactor guy? Why did he want this shit? Was he working for somebody else? I don't know. It feels like such a dead end. Why did he want what shit? Why did the benefactor want the poison? Are you sure you're thinking about the right benefactor? Are there more than one benefactor? Does this campaign have more than one person who goes by the benefactor? It should be noted that... <laughs> This is funny because it's it's a nuance that absolutely Lucan could totally and probably would make this mistake, right? But this particular vampire is just that's what he's named himself. He's named himself, he's named the, himself benefactor. the benefactor. I get that. The pre in, in the previous book, the last hag had said that they had an unknown benefactor. She didn't call him the benefactor, like the oh. capital T, capital B. This I guy, they were no, calling we him did, the didn't the benefactor. note we get said the yeah, the benefactor? note was signed the benefactor, the benefactor of Thronehearth, of uh, Thron Thronehearth, Thronehearth, yep. Yep. yeah, which is here, which is here, yes, and he's the benefactor. That be that letter is from this benefactor, but it's not the same benefactor that the grave claw. But it had didn't have it didn't have anything about. to do with the actual poison scheme. Nothing to do with about the poison sl Fuck plot at all. Me. Tavia, this is just where Tavia went. Why do you think Tavia came here based on the clues that you got? Well, I initially thought it was because, because she was. This was the benefactor that was paying for us. That was paying her. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. No. Well, clearly this guy knew was around when she was created. Now he doesn't understand what she is. He clearly knew who did create her, but doesn't understand who that person is either, or what that person is. So why do you think Tavia came here? To kill him, obviously. Well, they were sitting down to supper, though. I don't feel like she was... She meant to kill him. I don't know if something happened. And it didn't seem in the little bit that we saw of the dinner, it didn't really give us enough to go off of what triggered her to attack him, but... Maybe she's under control. Maybe she's under thrall by whoever created her. Yeah, obviously, it, he said that he, he didn't know what the person that created her was either. Maybe she came here to ask this guy to learn about herself. And then she learned she was hungry. And with that, the words that the head, the severed head spoke while in his lap were the words that set Tavia off. That's what started the fight. I don't even know what created you. Tavia came here to try to find out about what kind of undead she is. She doesn't even know. Gotcha. This guy obviously didn't know either. So just saying I don't know was enough for her to kill him? Okay. I mean, I didn't say that she was reasonable. <laughs> <laughs> she is most certainly not a reasonable Annis hag, whatever vamp, you know, vampire un spawn, un whatever they, she is now. Yeah. And there's no, they don't give a clear way to deliver this, but I want to tell you anyways, this was Tavia's second visit. During her first visit, she came because she knew he was a vampire and thought that he could help her. She served him something, or he served her something that her form of undeath thought was disgusting. So whatever blood he drinks, she just hated it and stormed out because she thought he was trying to poison her. That's when he wrote the letter that was like, hey, I'm sorry. 
I didn't really know what to feed you. It was an ignorance if I aired, right? So that's why he was like, you can come back and we can talk about it. And she did. And they did. And she killed him. All right, who wants this spirit sight crossbow? We'll have to sell it. What? Why the heck Unless Arius use? wants it. I guess Arius could use it. Well, it's, anybody could use it's it. It's a but. simple weapon. Any of us could use it. I'd imagine probably somebody with more dexterity than Lucan has. Yeah, I ain't taking it. It's no use for me. Yeah, that's my problem. Is I have no dex, so... Arius, what's your dex? Mm, 14. Kix, what's yours? Like, dex? Like... Yeah. 16. You want this crossbow? No. But also, what's what's your proficiency in, in weapons? Like, oh, yeah, I'm an I expert. Need to be trained. I guess is everybody else other than Arius is probably just trained. Well, you can take it, Arius, if you want it. Uh, no, I'm good. All right, we'll sell it then. It's too bad. What sucks is because it's a named crossbow, we can't take the ghost touch off of it. Yeah, right. it's a unique crossbow. I mean, ghost touch is cheap. Yeah, but I didn't think ghost touch could go on ranged weapons. That's what makes this special. Oh. Uh, but that could just be a one-y thing that my brain's bringing over. How much is it worth? Is it worth selling it? It's worth 450 450 It's worth yeah, less than the plus one resilient breastplate, actually. Might as well just sell it. I'll, I mean, I could take it, but honestly, I don't think I'm ever going to use it. Yeah, Ghost Touch only goes on to a melee weapon. So it is very unique in that it's the only ranged, well, at least it's a named ranged crossbow that has a rune that cannot go on any other type of ranged weapon. And can see into the ethereal plane. Honestly, I think it's worth it for that just on its own. Yeah, maybe I'll just hold on to it just in case. We'll like, see, we can hold on to it. If you need to see into the ethereal plane, you really fucking need to see into the ethereal plane right now. <laughs> right? That's I just my, take my it. Thing. Where does that put me at bulk? You are in the basement of the Benefactor's estate. You have staked but not decapitated one of the Benefactor's spawn. What you choose to do next is up to you. I have Sun Drinker come down and get this coffin and bring it upstairs. It's a real nice coffin. It deserves to be upstairs, not down in this dark, dank dungeon. Are you going to be keeping it in this estate? Yes. Yes, I'll keep it in this estate, but I don't want to sleep down here in this dungeon. Got it. And we uh, we had tried to determine what we wanted to do. Um, I think my idea is, like, obviously we want this to be ours, but I think we could lease it to the Carter's Consortium because it's right on a crossroads to Mechatar, which is probably good for travel. And there's also farms here, so they can have stuff to load up or stuff to sell. So I say we make it ours, but we lease it to the Carter's if we can arrange that somehow. I don't exactly know how we'd arrange that. Magic. Magic, yeah. S- sending spells or something. What's the population makeup? Is it a bunch of like... I'm assuming all humans are... <laughs> well, maybe not all humans, I guess. They are all quick. However, there are a... So wait, they're all, they're all quick? Well, yeah. That way they can be eaten. They're farmers. They're not soldiers. The only ones that are... Uh, quite a bit different are there's I think two dampiers and a handful of half elves so hear me out what if we just start like training them into a militia feel free I mean feel free Arius this is as much your village as it is ours you could do that while we get some carters it's a consortium people here I'm not sure Geb would be terribly thrilled with this creating an army here. It's a militia. It's not an army. They just could be able to take it's care to of themselves. themselves. Yeah. yeah. Their benefactor's gone. Uh. But but he's not. Because we're going to keep up the ruse that the benefactor's here. Keep up the ruse that the benefactor's here? Okay, we can do that. It, it, the benefactor wants them to be able to defend themselves, though. Alright, Tyler, what did the benefactor's we don't know what his voice sounded like, did we? We only heard him a few few sentences. You heard him under duress. You really don't have a lot to go on. 
We heard him talking to Tavia at the very end, that last one that he said. That's true, before he was under duress. Give me what he sounded like, just a sentence. Just a sentence? Yep. Just make something up, just make something up. No, I want to give you that line again. Because I don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> and it makes me nervous. I want to know what he sounded like. Tavia, I don't know what kind of creature you've become. I don't even know what kind of creature he who made you is. Tavia, I don't know what kind of creature you've become. I don't even know what kind of creature he who made you is. I'll do my best. There we go. Uh, all right. All right. I didn't, I didn't have to do a lot of practice. I just had to do that one line, really. Tavia. All right. This is the voice I will use as I'm trying to speak to these people as though I'm the benefactor. Are you going to be disguising yourself physically? Yeah, uh, sure. Why not? I'll have a cloak on that covers my face mostly. He was always hooded. We, we, we... Yeah, he's, yeah, hood. I'll even put on his raggedy ass fucking nasty clothes. I'll like go to his bedroom and find some of his clothes. So I'm sure he had perfectly fine clothes. They're probably fine, but compared to mine, hideous. Uh, how much time are we spending here? That's the question. How much time, like, Kix, do you have anything magic you can do to send word to anybody? Not that long of a distance, I don't think. Because um, I certainly don't. Well, I do have a staff of divination, but I don't think... Yeah, no. no I can good. telepathically talk to people within 30 feet. I don't think that's going to be far enough. Yeah, we're just going to have to send letters. Okay, I go find this guy's room. I look for his clothes. I look for his letterhead, a, a writing desk, somewhere where I can scribble down some, some letters to the carters to send them off, um, and I put on his clothes. So you're going to be impersonating the benefactor? I'm going to impersonate the benefactor. Not in the letters. I'm going to write some letters. I'm going to write a letter to, to Shade. Okay. I guess, this, I guess I'm guess i writing a letter to Shade. I'll write a couple of them in case one of them gets lost. Okay. Okay. Well, do we want to go Shade or do we want to go Sh Sallow Shore Guy? I think he's closer to where we are right now. Is right? he? Okay. We'll go. How about both? Let's right both. now where you're at, G Gishkar is closer. Sal Sallow Shore is closer. I'll send one to say, Gishkar. We're in the south east right now isn't aren't we of yes. Geb? and Sallow Shore is the northeast All right, I sent it to Sallow Shore I sent it to Gishkar and I sent one to Shade uh, I let both of them know that I sent you know a letter to each of them so they both know with my proposal we'll charge a modest lease on this land and in return they can use it we just are gonna maybe stay there sometimes I make a diplomacy check or do you want a society check to write this letter I want to get an idea of what exactly are you going to be offering it up to for you to lease yes. or for them to lease from you for, for them to lease it from us for a modest okay. a modest fee. I mean, are you talking the town, the mansion? Yes, all of it. This is now Are we giving them a shop in town somewhere? This is now <laughs> our mansion and our town. I'm just saying that. It's probably not legal, but I'm just saying it. I'm going to act as though it is until told otherwise. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to say we've acquired this new property. There's these people here. Here's the thing. They don't exactly know what they're doing, so they kind of need guidance and leadership. And in return, you can use this. Fuck it. I won't even charge them. Just come here and take care of this place while we're gone. You can use it. It'd be great. Keep them from dying. We want to be able to come back whenever we want and just take. But it we're going to come back whenever we want to, to like stay here if necessary. Gotcha, gotcha. And you're giving it to the Carter's Consortium. Not giving. I'm leasing it for free. Are we doing this right away? Are we waiting a couple days. I'm writing the letters right away. Let's yeah, no, let's do it right away. Fuck it. I mean, maybe take a little time to heal up. Because we're on a we're on a we're on a schedule, right? We want to get moving. Uh, yeah, we are on a little bit of a schedule. So I'm curious what uh, Lucan is doing uh, after getting out of the basement is head to the to the play, you know, up to a writing desk, which is on the, you know, up in the tower, second floor. Okay. And start writing these letters. Yes. Do Does the party follow him? 
Well, I explain what I'm doing. I assume we discuss this together. I, I I tell everybody my plan. Does that sound all right with everyone? Does anyone have any other ideas or input or objections? Arius, you want to train them? Uh, and you've taken control of this, the coffin and everything? And I'm conf- is that your coffin now or what? Well... I deliberately left the vampire's head attached. I might be interested in pulling the stake and learning what I can from her, but not now, not not for a long time. So yes, it's mine now. We leave that vampire down in one of the cells with a stake in her heart. Yeah, she's in the northernmost cell down yeah. there. I write a sign that says, do not disturb, and put it on the <laughs> fucking cell. <laughs> Close the door. Yep. <laughs> now we're still like basically right after the the thing. Uh, Sundrinker would take the coffin upstairs, but Sundrinker hasn't taken the coffin outside yet, right? No, it's not going outside. Right. That's that's what I thought. So you guys haven't left the estate as of yet. No, we have not left the estate. I, I mean, I do ask everybody if everybody's on board with this plan. Does this sound all right? Yeah. All right. I think it sounds fine. Okay. Cool. It's- feels like we're just kind of like giving it away a little bit but terms i can put it i can put a thing in there it's like this term to last to be renegotiated after one year how's that how about we just burn it down no just it's a mansion the whole town yeah it's just burned down the whole town no the- no i want to feed on them in my retirement <laughs> okay. well you go work on those letters. All right, I'll work on the letters. God damn it. You guys are going to go kill everybody. Okay. Well, I'm working on the letters. I don't know any better. <laughs> okay, okay. Then, well, uh, that would mean Lucan's in the top. Whatever these mischievous rascals get up to. Right. They didn't say anything. So then Lucan's up in the tower. Sun Drinker up in the tower with Lucan as well. Yeah. Then, as Lucan's writing the letters, what is everyone else doing? I'm not sure. How long is that going to take? Yeah, when everybody leaves the basement, Cher is going back down to the basement. What are you going to do to their bodies? As you're leaving? or Wait, can you can you say the first part for me again? When everybody else leaves the basement, Cher is going back down to the basement. Like, quietly, or...? Well, I mean, I'm not going to be sneaking, but, you know... When- Everybody else is busy doing other things. I'm going back down to the basement. All right, then Arius and Kix, what are you guys doing? I mean, I'm just waiting. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> are you going to wait in the basement? No. Oh, I mean, there's a nice setting room up upstairs. Oh, yeah, I'm going back to the haunt. I'm just going to go hang out with it. Let it paralyze me a bunch. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it, it'd probably kill you. <laughs> just the cafeteria. As long as you leave the door closed, you're fine. <laughs> That's true. Arius is going to wander about town, preach the good word of Zeriel, um, and see what kind of people the citizens are. Okay, okay. Let's do Shara first. Shara, when you go back down to the basement, what do you do? Yeah, Shara's going to go pull that stake out of the vampire. All right. I mean, with with the... We'll leave the doors locked, but... So in the... the, uh, Stake comes out. She. <gasps> uh, uh, who, who? Who are you? My name is Shara, and we just killed you twice. Yes, yes, you did. I'm so hungry, starving. You're just gonna have to hold on to that for a little bit. Um, I don't really think you'd want to feed on my blood, anyways. Any blood would be fine. Yeah, that's why I fucking stayed upstairs. I'm not even sure if it's really blood anymore. But if you answer some questions, I might be able to find you something to drink. Anything. What is going on here? Or what was going on here? Going on? That's a broad question. Specifically about... Specifically recently... This Iron Tavia, your dead benefactor? The benefactor didn't let us out of the basement often. But I knew how to get out. I didn't 
turn our mind this has. And she gestures into the basement where the other three vampire spawn are. As these did. I saw her attack him. Break the leg off of a chair. I ran downstairs as he began to run to the secret door. I hid in my cage. She killed him. But why was she here in the first place? She was yelling about her first visit and the benefactor trying to poison her. But it wasn't true. The benefactor didn't know what kind of undead creature she was. And the blood made her vomit. So standard blood made her sick? Yes. So hungry. Yes, well, I told you I'll help, do my best to help you with that. What else can I help with? Did the benefactor know you were not as mindless as the others? Y yes. But he still kept you down here with them? Y yes. When everyone behaved, he would take us out on moonlit walks outside. But I also was able to get out on my own when he was out on business. And what did you do when you were out on your own? Mostly stare at the moon. I wish... I wish to learn more. But I would read books in the moonlight. Oh, just in general. I have interests in things other than military history and agriculture. Yes, well, most would. I wish to study magic in Mechatar. Well, Geb would be a place that you might be able to do that. If I let you go, what would happen? I would feed immediately on one of the Hamlet members. They are weak and defenseless without the benefactor to tell them what to do. If they do not yet know of his demise, they will just stand by. Yes, we have worked on putting some things in motion to get them working again. And they do not know of his demise, and we would like to keep it that way. What else can you tell me? My name is Grella. Grella. Well, nice to meet you. I would have been 21 years old. I was turned into this when I was 18. Well, I guess if you're going to be one age forever, 18 isn't terrible. So the benefactor always told me what use it does in his basement. This is true. I do not necessarily hold all the same beliefs as my companions. And as a follower of Urgothoa, I do not relish the destruction of undead, although it may be necessary at times. So I am inclined to let you go, as long as it does not cause any issues. I would not cause issues. Much prefer that a Hamlet member does not get found with vampire holes in their neck. That would make it seem as if the benefactor cannot protect them anymore. They all have holes in their necks. Yes, but if they, if you drain one till death, which I assume is what's going to happen with how hungry you are, that could be an issue. I would take animal blood. If it's easier, I may have a hard time catching prey, but I could take one of the goats. Yes, perhaps start with something small to get you out of town and not away from here. As you wish. And if you ever do become a... Was it you looking, hoping to be a wizard or something? The arcane arts interest me. Well, if you do manage to survive, perhaps come find me at the Theater of Sin in Grey Dirge. I will remember this. What is your name? Shara. Shara Imbrex. I will remember this, Shara. Thank you. Should I leave now? Yes, probably best. Otherwise I'll have to stake you again. 
Is it daylight? It it is. It is. Yeah, it's not not quite dusk yet. It's about it's about four or five p.m. It is about four or five p.m. So uh, dusk will be coming soon. I don't know if you can if you have a way like you said you could get out underground tunnels or anything. Unfortunately, no. Uh, well, let's just try to keep them out of the basement till dusk. All right. And watch out for the skeleton. Oh, okay. You're all very scary. Yes, but he shows no mercy. Understood. And I'll unlock the cage. But close it. But close it. Got it. Meanwhile, Arius, walking around town. Yo. The road into the little hamlet is packed tight with what has to be every villager watching anxiously as you crest the hill to get into the village. I didn't think this through. Oh god, they're going to want to know about the benefactor. You see yeah. them about a hundred yeah. feet out, and they start, like, slowly, if you take a few, t- few steps at first, and then, and then a couple more, and then they just start, like, walking toward you. The walk turns into a jog. What do you do? Ted wants to run away. I don't think Arius would, though. Like, how are they running at me? Is it like... Oh god. Arius is going to kill them all. They're jogging. They're jogging at you. Do they look like they want to like ask me questions and talk? Oh yeah. Or are they like? Oh yeah. Okay. They want to ask you questions and God. talk. They 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 look. God damn it! Tyler. They look pleading. I made a mistake with my character. <laughs> <laughs> I turn around and go back inside. The worst part is my deception is so fucking bad that if they ask me about the benefactor, they're not gonna believe that we didn't kill him, or that we didn't. I'm sorry that they're not here. How the fuck am I? Oh god damn it! Ted panics and runs. <laughs> Social situations. <laughs> fuck this. I like how you specified Ted panics and runs. Quick, collapse his bones. Collapse. <laughs> 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 Refuse to talk about anything other than Zuriel. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna start like. I'm just gonna start preaching. I'm gonna start yelling about Zerio, but I do want to know: Do I notice the, the holes in their necks once they get closer? Because that's gonna turn me off, and I'm not gonna give a fuck about these people anymore. Like, you would absolutely be able to see the scarred remnants of the holes, and yeah, Arius, Arius knows that. All of them have it. I think he's gonna change his mind about this. He doesn't want a bunch of fucking just blood bags. To be even followers of Zeriel, fuck that. Oh. Bunch of quick too. Yeah. All quick. So do you take it back on the preaching? So I think I I think he actually does just turn around and walk away. And just looks a li- little downtrodden, a little sad. Maybe, maybe a little more disappointment than anything. He's just like, oh oh yeah. Yeah, I don't want any of these people. No. Nope. It, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like Arius might be more like a oh god, cattle is running at me. Yeah, hundred percent. Like there's just livestock out of their cages running at me for information. Fuck this. No, <laughs> that's super morbid. I understand, but yeah, anyways, all right. Arius come, runs back in the house. Uh, kicks. I see kicks. Yeah, I was gonna say kicks. You're probably what in the dining room. Yeah. I started a fire. It's cold. I don't know what time of the year it is. There's a huge fireplace in the dining room. That's about all I got. I'm just waiting for these guys to finish. We gotta get on the road with the with the Mr. Skeleton Bones. <laughs> Whatever his name is. Uh, I don't. Is anybody injured? Did, I, did we take any damage in that last yeah. fight? Oh, I'm ri- I'm hurt, but I imagine I want to heal myself before I walked out. Just like treat wounds, right? Right. I would have too. The Hamlet citizens did not follow up to the estate when Arius turned and went back. Just rejected all of them. Fuck those people. So everybody comes together right at the table. uh, You know, shares 
come upstairs and Arias is frantically running back at the door. Kix has just been warming his hands up at the fireplace. Lucan's done writing the letters. It's about six o'clock. Dusk will be coming soon, but it's been it's been a long day. The new the the schedule is making your downtime awkward. Alright. I come down with the letters. I see everybody gathered up. All right. I suppose I better let these people know that the benefactor is still alive and going to be taking care of things, but a little bit more hands-off capacity. The cattle's right out the front door. Very well. Yes, let them know that we will be you will be away for a while. Away for a while, but leaders will be returning. Okay. I don his clothes and a and a cloak to mask myself. I will make a deception check to like disguise myself. You're going to like? Do you have a disguise kit? He's putting on some of his clothes and putting his hood up. No, but I, I have lots of makeup. And That's stuff. a good point. That's a good point. Putting on his clothes is uh, probably actually that would count as a disguise kit for a very specific in- incident. I don't allow that. I get a 34 to try and disguise myself as this guy. I'll like, try and like stand as he looked like he was standing and all that stuff. God, that came, cape of the Montebach coming in handy already. Yeah, hell yeah. Then, Lucan, you dress up and you think you look pretty... You look almost exactly like him, you think. You might be overplaying his dress, but I, I mean, you say that he dressed shabbily. He does not. Everything he has, he has fine suits. They are pretty well tailored and very specific to his body size. He, he dressed well and sharp, almost a uniform. Then maybe instead of like a, a, a hood, it's like a big fancy hat, big fancy military hat that comes down over my, a lot of my face. I don't know. Whatever he's got. Yeah, there you go. All right. I step out the front door. My subjects, I live. You are safe. I will be leaving for a while. You will take care of yourself doing your duties. You will live and be healthy for me. I may not return for some time. People may come to take over this mansion In my absence, they are my guests. You will listen and obey them. Do you all understand? What about the monsters from the Axenwood? We don't know how to defend ourselves. You will be defended by my guests. But what about it? Did the guests get here? You will need to be patient. Survive. That is your command. They look terrified. The world is a scary place. Yeah, when you tell them that they have to like fend for themselves until you, the benefactor sends somebody to protect them, they look terrified. Well, we'll see if they're still alive when the other people get here. If not, new village. <laughs> so yeah, diplomacy or deception check on that. That's going to be deception. Alrighty. Boop. A 32. Wow, you're killing it. Yeah. That, uh, they, they, they look scared, but they look back and forth to each other. And then they put their heads down, they turn, and they walk back to the hamlet. Excellent. Shuffling. I go back inside. And then I go change back into my clothes, which is much nicer. Keep telling yourself that. (laughs) All right, well, that's handled. Shall we off, then? I'm sure Bedless is getting impatient. So is is it dusk now? Has he returned? Because he was going somewhere else, right? Or was he doing doing something else? Oh, yeah, I forgot what he was doing. He said he was not going to be entering onto the benefactor's estate as to not interfere with the leader of the hamlet. With his position. Basically, it was like, you get your hands dirty looking at this one. Yeah, this guy annoys me, but oh well. Yeah, if it's still sun, I'll go into Sun Drinker. If it's dusk, we'll just go on out. 
and find him. I guess we could spend the night here then, I guess. I'll sleep in the coffin. Yeah, it's about dusk. I sure hope some other vampire doesn't open it up and stake me in the heart while I'm in their former coffin. No, I, I think we should go find Bedless camp outside of town, because I'm sure he'll want to ride at dawn. Ugh. Why would we camp outside of town, Shetta? We've got a roof, nice rooms, a coffin. You're killing me. Because Bedless is going to want to move on. Fuck Bedless. Quite frankly, I'm ready to move along also. <sighs> fine, fine. Very well, then. Let us away. We'll go find him. He is uh, standing at the base of the road that enters into the hamlet. As dusk comes around, all of the uh, villagers have shuttered themselves indoors. Bedless, as you approach... I am not sure what happened, but you should tell me. I have no secrets from you, Bedless, and I'll tell him everything. You're impersonating a government official. A dead man. I'm not even sure he's... Well, was he ever a government official? Was it... Uh, do we know that for sure, or is he just a vampire? A um, retired general still deserves respect. Do they? Yeah, I'll keep that in mind next time I meet one. And what? You're just going to let these people, these citizens of Gan wallow and die? No, I have these letters. I'm sending it to the Carters. Don't you remember? They're coming to take over. And in that time? Eh, whatever. They should be able to take care of themselves. If they don't, say la vie. Or say la mort, or whatever. I don't actually speak elven. Tax collectors won't be happy if the population decreases. Fuck the tax collectors. So I hear is your stance. You do one lawful act in Geb, and all of a sudden you hate the tax collectors. Is this going to hang over our heads forever? Here. Yeah. We found a contract and held to it by the law. They're bad bosses, dude. If the tax collectors don't like that, not quite. Frankly, they can go screw themselves. Interesting. Are, are you arguing with each other? I'm confused. Yeah, I wasn't sure there either. <laughs> <laughs> right, because we pissed off the tax collectors, right? Because we found the deed, and it said that it belonged to the uh, builders. And, oh, and yeah, we, you, you've already pissed yeah. the tax collectors yeah. off once. He's just pointing out that... It, you might know this with the society check, but the if you're you know running a place like this, the lower the citizens, the less in taxes get paid. And you guys rolling into this place, removing the protector, and then leaving without putting in some sort of protection. The protector was already dead. This whole place would have been zero if we had not come. If anything, we have saved the tax collectors from this being a complete loss. But will they see it that way? I'm sure not. Fools. That is their issue, not ours. Yeah, exactly. That's their idiocy. Any hints or any guesses as to where she may be going now? I'd like to try to figure out what she is and who created her. Yes. I'm certain that is her goal. I intend to go farther south, then. We make camp right at dawn. Yes, of course. Do, do we have additional information on where she went? Yeah, I don't think we did. Or did we? No. Did, is he? Or why is he going... Why are we going south, then? He has information that's, that she was heading south. And that's why you're oh, heading okay. in this direction, anyways. Yeah. And he had said that last... Either last session or the session before. Oh, got it. Right at dawn, I suppose. I say to Bedalus. <laughs> we will ride. I just wish we had a little more information from this locale. I don't feel as though we missed anything. Resting for the evening. 
Uh, maybe I could have gotten more out of Grella, but I'm not really sure what else. She didn't seem like she knew much. During your rest in the evening, you, do you all have tents? I assume. The sleep is of hollow bones. How else have we been sleeping this whole time, Tyler? We've had to sleep a few times. So it's a weird time to ask. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I know. Like, I don't, I, I don't know if you all have tents in your inventory, but Celdeck does not provide tents. If I don't have tents, I have gold that we can convert into a tent. Yeah. Nice. I sleep on the ground. I sleep with my gold. Like, on the second day of the journey, we're like, this fucking sucks. Let's buy some fucking tents. Okay. I just cuddle up with Sun Drinker. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Ow! Thorn bush. <laughs> they can hold me just perfectly. Retract their thorns, right? Uh, yeah. In the night, everybody give me a perception check. I'm sleeping. I get a bonus since I'm sleeping outside. I don't have a tent. I sleep as a pile of bones on the ground. <laughs> I told you I was sleeping. There's just a pile of my sh <laughs> of my inventory and bones. That one. Arius wakes up. See Arius with a thirty, and Lucan would have a high enough perception. So would Sundrinker, but not Shara or Kix. You are roused awake by the sound of Seldig's voice going. Who goes there? Show yourself. Uh, hello, sir. Mm. You hear him grunt, and then a, sh a sword being sheathed. One of the villagers. How can I assist? Um, is Shara here? Yes. That tent. Oh, okay. Sound like Rick Moranis. Oh, okay. Is, is it is it gorilla? There's some rustling, and then Shara's tent. Shara giving you another perception check. This is tapping at your tent door. Okay, I am super asleep. Ah, that one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> He's gonna have to come in and just like poke me. I was gonna say if uh, for those who uh, heard it and are awoken by it, do you do anything? Uh, when I hear Seldeg say it's one of the villagers, I will again don my benefactor voice. Who is that? Who has come? Seldeg turns to look at your tent. Do you poke your head out? No, no, definitely not. <laughs> no, okay, all right. So none of the characters can see this, but Seldeg's like... I'm kind of sleepy. I get a 21. <laughs> heavy rolls his eyes, and then Seldeg... Uh, walks up to Shara's tent, throws it open. Shara, you have a visitor. I assume that wakes me up. That so. wakes you up. <laughs> Shara will sit up. Yes, yes, come in. Who is it? Just you there with the tent and uh, this terrified looking man and you realize through some sleep. Uh, hi, hi, sh Miss, Miss Shara. Grella told me to come see you. Already? What does she need? Oh, she's she's gone, ma'am. You see, as you're waking up, this is Sawama, actually. Sawama was the man that you saw outside of Thorn Thornhearth before you just showed up. The one with Akui. Okay. And why would she have told you this? Uh, well, she was asking around before she left uh, some questions and I think I saw what you need me to tell you I saw he doesn't make any sense right now he looks terrified does this have to do with the hag Grella told me the benefactor is dead uh, she was not supposed to tell you that that means I can talk uh, I can tell you what I saw cause he's dead now that visitor, that hulking woman, left the estate and headed south through the fields and into the forest. I saw her leave, though she was trying to keep to the shadows and stay hidden. A trader once told me there's a sort of village several days in the direction where she went. A big market town in an old church. You might find her there. Big market town, old church, okay? That's all. 
And she told you to tell me this? No, she came and asked the question about the Hulkin woman. I told her I knew, I knew about the Hulkin woman. After she told me the benefactor was dead. Why was she asking about her? Suppose maybe to assist me? She wanted to help you for helping her. Okay, so did she tell anybody else about the benefactor? Oh, she told everybody. That the benefactor's dead? Oh, yes. Grella told everybody. Oh, yes. Do I hear this conversation from my <laughs> tent? You're still awake, and yeah, absolutely. God damn it, Shara. It's not like you're spacing the tents very far apart, right? Oh, yes. All, all of us. It's okay. We'll try to survive. Grail is going to get better in the woods. Come back and help us till your people get here. But she doesn't want to show herself to the other vampire. A wise decision, I say, for my other dad. Yes, well, <laughs> that's probably wise. <sighs> he hears it. Like, you can see he's, he's turtling in really hard right now after that. <laughs> was being loud i'm so sorry i give the biggest sigh he's <laughs> so lucky she told everybody because i was absolutely gonna kill just gonna him, kill so him. Nobody <laughs> she only told me <laughs> she, yeah. that's what i was expecting <laughs> um but since she told everybody i guess it is what it is um we kill him anyways i walk over to the tent and, and come in to join the conversation ah, well, ah. Not going to hurt you. Perhaps it's even for the best. Maybe Grell can protect them. If she doesn't eat them all. Yes, it sounds like she plans on protecting them. I guess the benefactor's death no longer a secret, at least. That makes things easier. We no longer have to impersonate him. Hey, I I did all right. <laughs> I, say, I say it loud enough so that Saldag can hear there, are you happy? He's dead and everybody knows it. Yes. What a grumpy puss. I mean, he's dead, so I don't know why it matters, but okay. Okay, fine. You can go. Thank you for the information. Th thank you, Miss, Miss Shara. We won't forget this. Thank you. <laughs> and do try to stay alive. <laughs> or at least become undead, one or the other. Don't just die. It's a waste. I can help. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, <laughs> gonna go now. Bye. <laughs> and he turns and runs. <laughs> He's sprinting. <laughs> I mean, we got one person saying, you know, don't just die, at least become undead, and a vampire saying, well, I can do, do oh, that hi. for you. <laughs> hey there. <laughs> That's terrifying. I'm going back to bed. Good night. And I go back to my tent. Yeah, it's like 4 a.m. Well, if I ever see Grella again, I'll have to have a word with her. Yes, well, you know us vampires can't be trusted. Except for me, of course. Oh, yes, of course. <coughs> Shara's turned to roll her eyes. <laughs> yeah, with a knowing smirk. <laughs> And kicks slept through all of that. Arius yeah. was <laughs> Arius, unless he just like ignored it. As soon as I saw who it was, I just went back to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Not a threat. Good night. All right. Next morning, Seldeg makes you all rise. I'm not attracted to him in that way. <laughs> I was gonna say, are we in court now? <laughs> All right. All right. All right. Today, Lucan, you may find it beneficial to be melded with your sun drinker. The forest thins out much. Very well. My apologies that we won't be able to travel as quickly. The horses are fine with this. We'll find her if you keep uncovering exactly where she's going like this. I want everybody to give me a society check or mercantile lore if you have it. Uh, I have neither. Yeah, neither. What about lore warfare? Mm. 
No. 29 society. Mine was real bad. <laughs> Five society. <laughs> um, there is a sort of village several days in the direction that she went. A big market town in an old church. So if it's an old church, but it's a big market town and it's in the old church... That guy, Soama, must have been talking about the hollow flesh market. It's this partially destroyed structure of weathered white stone that stands as this place where traveling merchants meet to exchange goods and information and rumors. Uh, it's also a spot where if people are looking to find any number of exotic items you can come to this spot and there's a good chance that there's a merchant who knows how to get anything that you're looking for not just a merchant but there is a vast array of them enough to the fact that y if you look you'll find somebody the hollow flesh market was actually originally designed by some of the people who followed geb here from assyrian they were going to build a massive Edifice designed to resemble their god's body, Osiris, reclining on the landscape. Osiris is a god of health, crops, and vegetation, and he protects the bodies and souls of the worthy dead. Hell, you said health crops, but at first I thought you said a god of hell crops. And Ensures like, the health hell of crops. <laughs> hell crops sound great. Hell I don't crops. know what that is. Osiris is basically the god of life. In the end, they weren't able to secure the funds and were ousted and weren't, did not finish this temple. But of course, Geb, the country and the king, being never going, never letting something go to waste, in the incomplete space, they created a market. And this market is open at all hours. Well, that still is south. We continue to get closer. That would be the goal, right? If we're to go to the Hollow Flesh Market, I have a extensive series of contacts there. We shall have about a four days travel from here. And your extensive contacts did not see an undead witch hag come through? Nothing like that has come as of yet. The trail is still very hot. I can feel that we're closing in. I didn't realize we were that close. We're still weeks behind. But we're hot on the trail. When she was here, I was looking for you. Already. Well, we best be going then. And so we continue on after Iron Tavia. But at least now, Lucan has a nice little retirement village filled with loyal meals. Uh, I mean subjects. I, I mean neighbors. Will we catch up with Iron Tavia in this hollow flesh market? Find out next time as we continue Blood Lords. And until then, may you have many great adventures of your own. It's your turn. <laughs>